My students are brilliant, always curious and ambitious. What I love about the course that I'm currently studying is being around other students who have also read Jane Austen and Charles Dickens. Uh, my modules basically included Victorian literature and modernist literature. The discussions are always wide-ranging, challenging, exciting. I think something we pride ourselves on is focusing on recent literature, emerging literature. You can get a lot deeper, a lot quicker with the people in the course just because we have those shared interests. Our students here at Lancaster are pushing the boundaries of the discipline of literary studies. It's extremely engaging and encouraging to be around those people. My name is Claire Egan and my role at the university here is I'm a lecturer in medieval and early modern literature. The object I brought along today is a postcard. It has the Chateau de Chillon, which is a famous castle. The object is significant to me because in the past I've taken groups of students to Switzerland, to the Chateau de Chillon and to other locations around the northwest of England and done readings of the medieval poem Sir Gawain and the Green Knight on location. It reminds me of the significance in modern environmental terms of poetry from the medieval period. So my name is Mike and I am a professor in English literature and my specialism is modern and contemporary fiction. Here at Lancaster the curriculum runs from the medieval period right through to the present day and uh, I think something we pride ourselves on is just being state of the art in focusing on recent literature, emerging literature and also maybe areas that might not traditionally be considered literature such as the graphic novel, comic books or even cinematic adaptations of literature. So there's a kind of openness to, to novelty and to experiment and to thinking a little differently about what counts as a literary text in our department. My name is Liesl Bender and I'm studying the MA course for English Literature with Creative Writing. I have been collecting antique books for several years now. I'm just fascinated with technologies of the book and book history, the covers, the pages themselves, deckled ed edges, printer's marks, and so the book that I brought uh, definitely highlight some of those things, those different techniques and technologies within. My name is Ganak and I'm doing MA in English Literary Studies. This is The Waves by Virginia Woolf. You can see I put too many flags on it because it deserves that kind of sincerity. I discovered it through one of the modules on my course which is called Fusions and this is an experimental book by Woolf. Every time I read it I discover something new and this, I think, is the power of this book. So here at Lancaster we have a really vibrant community of tutors and lecturers who specialise in the study of contemporary literature and culture. Some of the uh, perspectives they adopt are uh, via Gothic, uh, science fiction, dystopia, and there's a real strong interest in literature and adaptation, so what happens when a literary text is converted, for example, into a film or into a TV script. We're always interested in doing things differently and give students the opportunities to think in interdisciplinary terms, so bringing together literature and music, or literature and the visual arts, or literature and film, and there are creative elements to what we do as well because we see writing an essay about literature as, as a creative act and if you want to produce a creative response to literature, something that does things differently, so for example write an essay in a book that doesn't exist or write an essay in the form of a dialogue between you and the novelist or you and the dramatist, that's something we'd work with you on and give you the opportunity to do produce what's known as creative critical writing, which is an absolutely state-of-the-art approach to literary studies and something which is a, a real specialism of our department. I think I'm enjoying all aspects of the course as it encompasses a wide array of modules, including the traditional romantic and realistic literature and also the modern day concepts like neoliberalism, decolonization, and not to forget that students get their, get a chance to work on post-criticism, which adds another very interesting dimension to the course. I support my students in a number of different ways. We have two hour workshops on our MA modules that leaves plenty of space for student support and questioning. 
they get a chance to run their ideas by me and receive written and one-to-one -one feedback. I've received some of the best support and encouragement from the professors than almost anywhere else. They are really amazing at communicating with us, how to go through a problem together, and I've appreciated that a lot. Our lecturers are great. Many of them are published and working with them is very fascinating as you can get a glance into what experience in professional writing is. We have a uh, professor Paul Muldoon who is a world leading poet and our students get to work with a range of these distinguished professors. I recently read a book by one of my professors, John Scad, which is called Paris Bride. It breaks the conventional literature boundaries and dwells into post-criticism. This book helped me for my essays as this was my first essay, which I was writing in the critical creative field. Our students go on to a really wide range of different careers. We teach the core skills of research and effective communication, which means that our students can go on to careers in things like heritage sector work and arts work. We also have students frequently going into publishing and journalism type careers, but because of their skills in communication, we also have students that go into um, things like marketing, copy editing, and business communication roles too. After the course, I'm looking to find a job at a publishing company, maybe as an editor, working towards the path of becoming a small business owner myself as a publisher. Once I've graduated from the course, I would love to be a special needs teacher or a content writer at a company of my choice. Lancaster is a really exciting and beautiful place to study literature. It has a really rich heritage in literary studies. We have the Lake District just close by, which has connection with the Romantic poets. Recently, I was able to attend a book launch for one of my own professors. The Gospel of Orla was a book that he published, and I was able to go to a book reading and book signing for one of my, yeah, for my own professor, which was extremely inspirational.